kesaksian Yahudi Mesianik, ini panggilan pelayanan saya. And I know everybody is different and everybody senses the Holy Spirit in different ways. But that's how it happened for me. And after that I began to lay my hands on the sick and they would recover by the grace of God the next day. Because the conference was like four, three, four days. So okay. I went and I saw maybe 15 people that day healed instantly. Yeah. And uh, from then on I started, I went to, I went out of the army, I went to Sweden to just serve, to learn more about the Holy Spirit, to learn more about God. Mm. Uh, to build this intimacy, this relationship yeah. with God. And from there we went to India, Uganda, uh, Finland, Ukraine. Yeah, next just, is Indonesia. Amen, Indonesia. I want to wait the Lord to open yeah. that door. I of think course. that would be special. Because I was in those places like India, I really felt God's heart for the people. Yeah. And I, I really feel that in Indonesia and places like Indonesia as well. So I really hope the Lord will open that door. Uh, in July, I might be in Philippines and Japan. Yeah, it's, we'll it's, see. it's close. We, we, will, see. we will pray you should talk about to my boss. that. We will pray about Yeah, the your Lord. boss. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> yeah, of course. I okay. would love to be part of it. Yeah. For me, it's a deep calling for the ministry of the sick, ah, okay. for the ministry of the Holy Spirit, ministry mm -hmm. of deliverance. Uh, it's very much on my heart seeing okay. the sick that, you know, some of them, they can't even go to the toilet without help. Oh, yeah. And so what God is putting on my heart is paying that price mm -hmm. to have the faith and to walk in that faith and boldness and authority of Jesus. Yeah. Uh, and to deliver the power of God to the people in need. Okay. Uh, that's been one of the main things on my heart. Okay. Wow, that's a very tough question for me. Um, for me, I see the complexity of Israel in the Bible all over. Mm. Uh, on the one hand, God is blinding his own people. Yeah. He's hiding his face from his own people because it says in Ezekiel that he will no longer hide his face, which means he's hiding his face. But it also says that it's for the sake of the Gentiles. Yeah. We deny Jesus. Mm. as a nation, mm. still, but God also blinded us. And so it's a mystery that I don't know, I don't understand that. Okay. I don't think we can understand that. I think we can know there is a mystery, mm -hmm. it's a mystery of God, and we just need to accept it and yeah. believe it. We don't deserve anything because we deny our Lord but at the same time God is involved in that mm -hmm. you know it says um, some people think maybe the Jews they're the ones that killed I mean we spoke a little yeah, bit about yeah. that right they're the ones that uh, killed Jesus mm -hmm. but in Isaiah 53 it says that it pleased him yeah God strike him um, which to me seems like it was God not the Jewish people, yes. not the Romans. Of course. It was God. Mm -hmm. Since the Pesach, we know the Lamb. Yeah. So I think this understanding is very vital yeah. to understand. It's, it's, you know, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. It's not, yeah. it's not these people or these people. It's, yeah. We wrestle against the devil. We wrestle against his minions. We wrestle against the spirits, the evil, wicked spirits. That's what our wrestle is, and I think the most important thing for you guys to stand is to have that love, to have that understanding, to maybe have an identification with us, to identify with the Jewish people um, that are still in the desert, yeah, and carry that burden with love. Yeah, I don't know how that looks like for every nation. It maybe looks different because yeah. every nation brings its own giftings Problem and talents also. and yeah. problems as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, but I'm that would be what I would say. Okay. I, I don't know if that answers the yeah. question. Yeah, no, it's okay. Okay. I want to thank you. I want to commend you for what you are doing. Uh, removing the lies hmm. about Israel and about God concerning Israel. I think this work is very, very important, very vital because just reading Romans 9, 10, 11, you get a little bit of a sense of how God looks at Israel. Because yeah. he says, if, if God did not have mercy on the original branches, he would yeah. not have mercy on you. Yeah. So, 
So when you, you bring this uh, knowing, I think it's very, very important. And I want to thank everyone who stands in, in light because I, I imagine that you can be persecuted. I imagine get, people can call you names. Yeah. I imagine it can, it's not just something you change in the minds, but yeah. people need to take a stance for God. And I believe in the end times, it says many will fall away, right? That there will be such hard times that like never before. Yeah. And I just want to say that I honor you. I honestly do for what you're doing, for standing in the midst of, of such persecution that can come towards you. People mm -hmm. can look at you as baby killers. Yeah. And, you know, I think just falling away probably would be more, would have more to do with standing with Israel yeah, okay. than with just saying, I believe in Jesus. Yeah. Because believing in Jesus does do you no harm. But when you believe in Jesus, when faith without works is dead, for example, right? Yeah. When your faith has works, you will have to stand with the Israel of God. I'm not saying with the nation of Israel, not with the government of Israel. That's yeah. not what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. But with the Israel of God. Mm -hmm. When you stand with the Israel of God, there is a difference. You will suffer persecution. So I just want to honor you and thank you. And uh, I pray, I pray for you. Amen. Thank God you. God will strengthen you. He will preserve you to yeah. the end. Amen. In Jesus name. Thank you. Thank you. Salam damai dari Fakta Israel.